Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to train bidirectional associative memory net to get bipolar weights with a simple numerical example. This is the problem definition. In this case, we need to train the bidirectional associative network to store the input vectors S is equal to S1, S2, S3, S4 to output vectors T is equal to T1 and T2 here. The training input and target output vectors are in binary form we need to obtain the weight vector in bipolar form and this is the data set given to us now the first question comes in front of us is what is the equation to train the bidirectional associative memory to get the bipolar weights over here this is the equation we use wij is equivalent to p is equal to 1 to 4 here that is nothing but uh, the 4 is the number of uh, inputs here 2 times si of p minus 1 Yes, i. i will be 1 in the first iteration and uh, it will go from S1, S2, S3, S4 here. So, it will go from S1 to S4 and the value of P will again go from 1 to 4 over here. So, S1 of 1, S1 of 2, S1 of 3, S1 of 4 in the first case. S2 of 1, S2 of 2, S2 of 3, S2 of 4 and so on. And what about this one? 2 times Tj of P minus 1. Tj can go from T1 to T2 and p again go can go from 1 to 4 over here so t1 of 1 t1 of 2 t1 of 4 t2 of 1 t2 of 2 and finally t2 of 4 in this particular case so w11 is the first weight i is 1 in this case and j is equal to 1 over here now the value of p will be 1 and it will go up to what is that called as 4 in this particular equation so it will become 2 times s1 and it will become 2 times t1 over here as I said earlier, the value of P will go from 1 to 4 over here. So, 2 times S1 of 1 over here. S1 of 1 is equal to 1 in this case. And 2 times T1 of 1 is equal to 0 over here. So, that is what you can see here. I have written 1 here and 0 over here. Remaining is the as per the equation, I have written it. Plus, the value of P will be 1 now. So, S1 of uh, 2 here. S1 of 2 is equal to 1. So, that is what I have written here. T1 of 2 that is equal to 0 I have written it here similarly we need to write all this particular thing and once you solve it you will get minus 4 as the answer in this particular case similarly we need to solve one more uh, equation that is W12 so that is the second weight I is equal to 1 J is equal to 2 over here so it will become 2 times S1 again and it will become 2 times T2 now this is the first column we need to consider and we need to consider this particular column over here so in the first case 2 times S1, this is P is equal to 1 over here. Again, what is the value? We will get 1 here. And what about uh, 2 times T2 of 1? That is equal to 1 over here. I have written it 1 here and 1 over here. 2 times uh, S1 of uh, 2, which is equal to 2. 2 times T2 of 2, that is equal to 1 over here. We can see here 1 and 1. And the same way, we need to write the remaining equation. We will get the W12 is equal to plus 4 over here. Similarly, we have to calculate uh, another weight that is uh, W21, W21 that is means uh, I is equal to 2, J is equal to 1, this is S2 now, this is S2 and this will become T1 in this case, that is nothing but this column and this is the another column we have to monitor here. Now, uh, what is the value over here? S2 of uh, 0, S2 of 0 is equal to, S2 of 1 is equal to uh, 0 here. Uh, T1 of uh, 1 is equal to 0. So, that is what I have written here. Again, S2 of 2 is equal to what? 1 in this particular case. T1 of 2 is equal to 0. So, 1 and 0 I have written. Similarly, we have to write the remaining equation. You will get final weight as minus 2. Similarly, we have to calculate W22 which is equal to 2 in this case. Here, we have to consider S2 and then T2 over here. In the next case, we need to calculate a W31 that is uh, S3 column and T1 column over here and then we need to solve the equation. You will get plus 2 as the answer. In the next case, uh, W32, the 32 means S3 we need to consider and T2 we need to consider. We will get weight as minus 2 over here. Finally, we need to calculate W41. I is equal to 4 means S4 and T J is equal to 1 means T1. And if you put all those values, you will get plus 4 here. W42, S4 is the first one. And 2 is there. The meaning is T2 column we need to consider. 
you will get minus 4 as the next answer over here. So plus 4 and minus 4 are W41 and W42 over here. Once you calculate all these particular weights, next we need to put these particular weights in the proper matrix. W is equal to W11, W12 and so on. W11 we have already calculated, W12 we have cal already calculated, remaining all we have calculated. Once you put all those particular values in this matrix, you will get the final uh, weights for bidirectional associative memory in a bipolar form over here. So in this video, I have discussed how to train bidirectional associative memory to get the bipolar weights with a simple numerical example. I hope the concept is clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.